In this video, I'll explain how to get the value of the selected radio button with Angular. When working with Angular, you may find that you need to act upon this choice that a user makes uh, with a set of radio buttons. So here I've got a set of radio buttons, and when the user selects one of the radio buttons, I show the result in the page. So the bottom line is that whenever the user makes a selection here, I'm acting upon the value of the selection they've made. If I choose Monday, I see Monday, and Tuesday, and so forth. Let's take a look at how this all works. So here we have the code that produces the exact page that you just saw. Now I've got, I'm using an ng4, which is used to uh, iterate over an array. So I'm saying let day of days. Well, what is days? Well, days in our component file is an array. And this array is the five days of the work week. So just know that in our template, we're saying, hey, for every day in the days array, for every day in that work week, we're going to do this. So this, this div is going to happen five times. And each time it happens, we're going to get a different day, and we're going to produce a radio button. So that's just a, an easy way of creating five radio buttons as opposed to creating five, literally five input elements type of radio in the markup. We just create one and use ng4 to loop through it. Now, for each radio button, we're use looking at the change event and we're saying hey when that change happens on this radio button we want to call the radio change handler that's an event handler and we're passing it an event object so just know that when one of these radio buttons changes this radio change handler method is called and passed the event object then down here in the page this selected day property is going to be updated. And the selected day property is what you see when the user makes a change here. This is a selected day property. This is what's being updated. So let's take a look at our component and see how this all comes together. So in the component file, we know that we have our days array, which produces the five days of the work week. But here we have our radio change handler. And that's the event handler that gets executed when the user makes a selection or changes one of the radio buttons. And it receives an event object. An event object is an object that's provided by the browser whenever an event handler is executed. So it lets you drill down and inspect and act upon different properties of the event. In this case, the event will have a target. The target is the element that was acted upon. So the target is going to be the radio button that was changed. And the value is the value of that radio button. For example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we're saying this dot selected day equals that value. Well, selected day is a property on our component, and that's what we were looking at just a few moments ago. Here, we were saying that selected day is the property provided in the template that allows us to see in the web page the change that is made. So back in the component, we just know that when the event handler fires, it receives an event object, it looks at its target property, and then the value of that target property, for example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it assigns it to this dot selected day. We have to say this dot selected day because we're inside of a method here, but this dot selected day is the selected day property. So all of that winds up coming together here in the template in that we have we create five radio buttons. And then for each radio button, whenever one of them changes, we call this event handler, we pass it the event object, and then our component acts upon that event object, takes a look at its target and the target's value and assigns it to this dot selected day. Selected day is a property in our component. And then back in the template, we see that we see the update to selected day. And then in the browser, what happens is whenever we make a selection, the value of that selection is shown in the web page, whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so forth. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button right under the video. You can also take a look at my blog where there are many articles and tutorials about web development. Thanks very much for watching.